Okay, my radar's gone. Hello guys, welcome back. So, for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a really quick workout that is ideal for new mums or busy mums or even busy students, just anyone really that wants to get a quick workout in. I'm gonna show you a beginner's exercise and also an intermediate, more advanced exercise that you can do. I'm gonna talk you through every exercise and I also will leave the exercise in the description box so then if you wanna go back and do it again but you don't wanna watch me do it, then you can just take that from the description, write it down or screenshot it on your phone, and then you can do it again and again and again. So yeah, let's just get straight into the video now. Enough of me rambling on. Let's do this, we can do it. I've got no muscles, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay, so in this first round, we're gonna be focusing on our legs. In this first round, we're gonna be doing three different exercises. Each exercise we're gonna be doing for 40 seconds and we're gonna have a 10 second rest in between. Okay, so if you are warm enough now, we can get started. So, as I said, the first three exercises, we're gonna do in each exercise for 40 seconds and we're gonna rest for 10 seconds. And the first one we're gonna do quite a simple straightforward one it's just squat holds so we're going to hold a squat for 40 seconds so we're going to go as low as you can don't worry if you can't go really low just anywhere is fine just where you can feel it a little bit and then hold it now is our 10 second rest if in between that squat hold you need to just come up and stretch your legs a bit, that is fine because 40 seconds is a really long time. You don't realise until you're holding the squat how long 40 seconds is. Okay, so 10 second rest. Whew. And then the next one we're going to do, um, they're called explosive jacks. Um, I'll show you the explosive jack. Just like this. Oh, you can my dog in the face. Um, or you can just do a normal jack like this. Okay, so I'm going to do half doing the explosive and then I'll go into a normal jack. So, you ready? Let's go. That one's a killer. Okay, next one. So just think this is the last one for your legs then you can give your legs a little break so the next one is going to be jumping lunges but you can't do jumping lunges just normal lunges are absolutely fine they're still gonna really burn so the jumping lunge is gonna go like this and then the normal lunge is going to just be a normal lunge. You can either step back or you can step forward into it. Either is fine. So let's do the jumping lunges. Don't worry about how fast you're going, whoa, or losing your balance uh, because jumping lunges are hard. So take it at your own pace or just go into the normal lunges. So I go, so I go. So I thought I'd leave it. So that is it for the legs. We're gonna go into the, oh, we're gonna go into the next round now, which we're gonna give ourselves, give yourself a longer break, give yourself about a minute break in between rounds. The second round is going to be more core based. So we're gonna work our way up. <laughs> also make sure you go grab yourself some water in between. Gotta keep hydrated. If you've got kids and they used to watch Doc McStuffins, whenever I say to my kids about you've got to drink water, you've got your water, the first thing that comes into my head is the Doc McStuffins song. Water, 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 you got to drink way more water than you think. I don't know why I shared that with you, but does anyone else do that? So let's go drink some water and then we'll get round to doing our core. Okay, I'm hydrated. Right, let's do our core. Planks are so good, so I'm definitely going to be doing 
some plank basic exercises here um, and I'll show different variations of it so harder and slightly easier I mean no planks are easy but I will show you slightly easier versions um, now I haven't got a mat so I'm going to use a blanket hi we're down here now um, so the first exercise we're going to do for our core is going to be a rotating plank that's what I call it but you know call it what you want once you see it so we're going to come into a plank like this though not on your elbows because what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this way and this way um, make sure you don't rotate too far back you want to keep a nice neutral back so yeah we're going to do that for 30 seconds and then rest for 10 seconds and I'll show you the next one okay so let's go guys <laughs> Plank rotations, they're called plank rotations. That's, what did I say before? I know I didn't say that, but that's what they're officially called. Okay, so that is a great one for the core. Um, another one, which is great for the core, but they are hard and they hurt um, mountain climbers. So now we're gonna do some mountain climbers. And I'm also gonna show you a slightly more advanced version. But mountain climbers are brilliant, so just stick at that or you can do another one that I'll show you. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this now, my blanket. So mountain climbers, you're gonna come up on your hands again, and you're gonna just bring your knee as far up to your elbow as you can. And then you can go as slow or as fast as you want. Okay, and the other version that you can do is this. So you can bring both legs the elbow back out so that is going to be slightly harder 40 seconds mountain climbers Last core exercise, I'm gonna make it a fairly straightforward one because they were both quite hard. Well, especially that last one. Okay, so we're gonna lay on our back. Can you still see me? And we'll put our head down. And we're literally just going to lift our legs up and then slowly bring it back down as far as you can. Just lift your legs up and slowly bring them down. And we're gonna do this for 40 seconds. When you're doing these, just make sure not to arch your back. So try and keep your back as flat to the ground as you can. I always put my hands just here to make sure that I'm not arching up too much. So they are the core exercises. Then we've got one last round, three more exercises, and then we're done. It's over. Yes. To start off, I'm going to keep it really straightforward and we're just going to do some push-ups. Um, if you can't do full push-ups, then just come down to your knee and we can do them push-ups. So let's do them. 40 seconds push-ups, 10 second rest. So hands width, it, hands width, what do they say? Width apart, shoulder, that's it. So hands shoulder width apart and obviously go down to your knees and do them ones if you need to. Um, another push-up hack is you don't have to stay off the floor. A good way of practicing push-ups if you can't do them or you find them too difficult is to go all the way down, touch the floor, and then just push yourself back up like that. That is a great way of getting better at push-ups. Just going all the way down to the floor and pushing your body weight back up. That is a really good starting point. So do that if you can't do, if you're just struggling to do the full ones yet. So oh, I'm not very good at push up. Okay, 
Okay, red I've gone. Okay, so for the next one, it's gonna look easy, but trust me, if you do it enough, you are gonna feel it. So what I'm gonna do is bring our arms together like this, elbows touching, so you're like this, and you are just going to bring them up as far as you can until it kind of hurts. Make sure that you keep your elbows touching together. So just gonna go up, I'm just gonna do that and come back down again. I'm just gonna do that for 40 seconds. So, let's go. That is crazy how much that hurts. I feel like you're not really doing much, but God, you can really feel that. Uh, and then the next one I'm gonna do for our upper body is another one that looks quite straightforward, but again, it is going to hurt. So you're gonna bend your knees slightly like this, and you're gonna bring your arms together like this, and then you're gonna keep them contracted, keep everything in your body contracted. So, and then just bring them back and then in again. So 40 seconds, doing this. Yeah, that is crazy how much you can actually feel those kinds of exercises without any equipment. So yeah, that is it. That is the end of the video and the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know, it, yeah, it was a bit weird. I've not done a video like that before and it might have been better if I would have done it live. I don't know, let me know your thoughts on that. But I hope you did enjoy it. Um, it's one that you can watch and then go away and do it after. Or as I said, you can do it whilst I'm doing it. Um, just take longer breaks in between, especially if you're a beginner. Feel free to take a bit of a longer break and then build yourself up. But it's great, if you did that every day, you would notice such a difference within the first few weeks, I think. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, I would love if you'd give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.